makeup lovers, how are you guys doing? So today I'm going to be reviewing two different collections from Physicians Formula, and these are based off of the original Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. They did the Butter Bronzer, then the Butter Blushes, and then the Butter Highlights, and then they did the Butter Collection Palette, which I was really excited about. This retailed for, I think, $11, and it was available at Walmart and Physicians Formula online. It's no longer online at Physicians Formula, but I think that some Walmart still have it. It's definitely a hunt to find. I know that a ton of videos have already been done on this, but I decided to go ahead and do this video anyways because I I picked up the Physicians Formula Butter Collection, which just looks like this, and I was really excited about it, and I think that the value is really great, so I just wanted to share it with you guys and tell you what goes in it and just review basically all the products inside. So I'll just do a quick run through on the palette, like I said, because there I've seen so many videos done on this already, but it clearly says limited edition. They had light, medium, and then medium deep. I actually went ahead and got medium deep because I really wanted to try out the perfume and I wanted to try out the highlighter shades, but I already had the bronzer in bronzer and the blush in natural glow, which is the two um, products in the light medium palette. So I was like, why am I going to buy the light medium and just get the same exact same exact products that I already have so I went ahead and got the medium deep and this is crazy because I was actually able with a light hand to make this bronzer work so this is in no way a deep bronzer like it's actually pathetic um and then this is the blush in vintage rose and I really really like it I think it's super pretty so I can just go ahead and swatch these all for you real quick um, they are really pigmented. I will say that my hand is not completely free. I do have some of the butter lotion on right now, so it might swatch more pigmented, but honestly, they all work really, really great. And then they do have the two highlights, which are the same in both palettes. There is a, like, yellowish white shade called Full Moon, and then a good glittery pink shade called Galactic. I think Galactic would be a beautiful eyeshadow. Um, I actually mix these two highlighters together, and I think it makes a really, really nice shade, and it's just a nice, like, just a perfect mix. I got that idea from um, Kathleen Lights. So here's all the products in that palette. Overall, I do like the palette. I like the idea of the palette. I like that you get to try so many products at such a nice price tag. I believe that the blush and the highlighters are both full size and the bronzer is smaller, but I've been using my butter bronzer for like a year and I still have not hit pan, so um, the size is definitely, it's not too small to where you can't fit your bronzer brush in there, so I think it's decent. And then as far as the perfume goes, mine actually leaked a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell my like paper there is all cracked and whatnot. But the perfume is okay. It does not actually smell like the original butter bronzer smell, which I know some people like, but I don't as much. It kind of has a vanilla hint to it, so it's okay. It's just not as great as I was expecting it to be, um, but I'll definitely still use it. As far as the, the palette smelling, there's been some back and forth, and I personally... Mine does not have a smell. Like, like I'm like breathing in as much as possible, because I told my friend one of makeup, she hates the smell of the butter bronzer so I said you should pick up the palettes because I can't smell anything in them and she got them and she said that she can still smell it a little bit and like she can't handle the bronzer but she likes the blush and the highlighters I think but I swear like I, I literally can't smell it at all I don't know what's wrong with me maybe I just got a really good palette that doesn't have smell which is not even a good palette for me because I love the smell but I really really can't smell anything in here except for the perfume but like I said really great value um, and then I went ahead and I decided to get the butter collection and the reason for this is because I really wanted to try out the butter or the body butter. I would get a second perfume. I would get the highlighter in pearl and then as far as the blush and the bronzer, those are actually repeat products that I already have. It's the blush in natural glow and the bronzer in the shade bronzer. So I just figured I would go ahead and throw those in giveaways because they're products I really, really enjoy. And so, like, that's a perfect item to add into my future giveaway. I have, like, a whole pile going, um, which I'm not even sure when I'm going to do it. But this is what the uh, packaging looks like. And I really, really like this box, actually. Like, it's super nice and sturdy. And I could see using it for I don't even know what, but I'm not going to throw it away. That's all I know. I guess I could put makeup in it or something. But it's actually really nice. And I believe that this retails for $28. It is on Ulta.com. I went ahead and used a 20% off coupon code, so I think I got it for $20. So I thought it was a really, really good value because all the products in here are full size. So like I said, there's the bronzer, the blush, the highlighter, the body butter, and the perfume. As far as the body butter goes, quick little review. I think it smells okay. It doesn't even smell like the perfume. It smells like 
less intense but I do like the formula of it because I don't like when lotions are sticky and this one you can like rub in and it's like it doesn't say sticky it just moisturizes so I really enjoy that and I can definitely see myself using it however it's pretty small actually um let me show you guys so that's what it looks like there's definitely a lot of glass here making it appear bigger but that is it's it's really it's really not that big so if you're one of those people who uses like a ton of lotion I think you would use this in like two seconds so I wouldn't say make the whole purchase based on just trying out the body butter because I mean it's nice but I wouldn't like write home about it um but I think if you're like if you've been wanting to try the physician's formula like bronzer and the blush and everything then this is a great way to go with it because it's really such a good value because I think that the bronzer by itself is like $15 so the fact that you can go in Ulta and depending on what coupon code get this for like 20 25 like I think that's a really good value so I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch everything in this collection as well um, but I'm obviously not gonna swatch the blush or the bronzer I'll just swatch swatch the bronzer and the blush from my personal collection and oh I meant to mention that this bronzer and this blush is the exact same shades that's in the light medium palette so there's my very loved uh, bronzer from Physicians Formula, and that is the bronze shade bronzer. Oh my gosh, you can't even see it. I'm going to build it up a little bit. I appreciate that you can barely even see it. So there's the shade bronzer. And I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to see this blush either because it is very, very light. This I don't know why they chose this blush to put in the collections because... I just feel like unless you're like paper white like me, like this is not going to show up on you. Also, I forgot to mention as well that I'm wearing this bronzer and this blush today. See, that blush is like literally, it's so, so light. <laughs> and then here is the highlighter in the shade Pearl. I actually really do like this formula. Um, I feel like it reminds me a lot of the ColourPop Super Shock Cheeks. So I like it. I don't know if I would go ahead and I don't I don't know if I would buy these individually just because they're like the formula reminds me so much of ColourPop and ColourPop is cheaper. Um, so that is what the three products from the collection look like and I am disappointed that they didn't do a like lighter and a darker version for the collection since they did it for the palette and I just feel like these shades are only going to work for super light skinned people and like the highlight might work up to like tan skin possibly but the bronzer and the blush just aren't going to do anything. So I wish that they had come out with a shade range for the palette and the collection. So I think that's everything I wanted to say. I feel like they both have a really good value if the products work for you, if there's something you really want to try. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.